yesterday or two days ago, Minnie and me were out bike riding on the Silver Rainier Trail out in Moab. Now, it's on the north side of Moab, and it's a pretty rough trail. Uh, a lot of extreme shale, loose rock, gravel, and good-sized little mini boulders. And we're not talking round. We're talking jagged, sharp edge stuff. So when she wrecked, uh, let me see if I can get her helmet. Where the fuck is it? I don't even know where the fuck. I was going to show you her helmet. Um, her helmet got extremely cracked in half almost when she her head hit the fucking uh, ground. It cracked her fucking helmet right here and then came back down here. So she hit really fucking hard right here. If she wouldn't have that helmet on, uh, she would probably be in the hospital with a concussion and probably in a coma. That's how bad she fucking hit. But uh, she's over at the motel and where we're going is we are going bike riding by ourselves today. Now, many of the body shop girl has wrecked. Every time we come to Colorado or Moab, she wrecks at least one time really bad. So the last two years that we've came up here, she wrecked real bad. Now, the first time, which was up at Winter Park, wasn't her fault. She was coming down the trail toward the end and here comes these hot dogger guys ripping down the trail and they bashed into her and of course made her fly off her bike and that was actually toward the end of the trail and where she wrecked this time was basically at the end of a sharp decline so it seems like she gets almost all the way and then bam it hits her in the face literally uh, but we're going by our south today now we're going up here to this uh, trail up in Moab on the other side of Moab, in between Monticello and Moab, up in the LaSalle Mountains. And I'm trying to get around this car parked out here. Okay, that's not the fucking road, I hope. It says that we gotta go 22 miles out to Highway 46, then turn left. So I've been watching vigorously for Highway 46, a sign for Highway 46, and I haven't seen nothing yet. And you know what I should have done? I should have watched my mile marker, but I didn't do that, so. If we don't come up to it here pretty soon, um, I'm gonna have to pull over and ask somebody. If we get to the hole in the rock, I'm gonna stop and ask somebody about uh, the fucking trail. Or actually, I'm gonna ask them about Highway 40, what do we got here, 46, and see where we're going. Because when you come up here to do these type of trails up here in Moab, you really don't know where the fuck you're at, and you don't know where you're going, so you gotta have one of these. This is a book that we bought and I'm gonna tell you something about these books here. Don't go by what these books say. The only way you're gonna find out if it's easy or hard or technical or this, that, or the other is if you get out there and do the trail. Um, the trail that Minnie wrecked on back there, they said in this book that it's a nice, easy trail, uh, a lot of rolling downhill stuff, blah, 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 you know, fear factor seven, um, and all this other shit. When we get out there, and it's mostly hike and bike. You're carrying your fucking bike up the mountain. And then when you do get up to the top, you got about a 300 yard fucking downhill ride and then bam, you're back carrying your bike through loose sand, gravel, and back uphill again. So don't go by the fucking books. I don't care what anybody tells you. If they tell you to buy this book, that book, or the other book, the only way you're gonna find out if the trail's any good for you is if you fucking go on the trail and do it yourself. So here's the hole in the wall right here. Um, we're gonna stop up here and ask them where Highway 46 is and see if they can tell us how to get up to Lewis Howe Mountains. I'm thinking I passed it and I think it's back there uh, because there ain't no signs out here on this fucking highway. But uh, yeah, let's go in there and ask them where Highway 46 is and uh, hopefully we haven't passed it yet and we will get up to the trail. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about.
what the hole in the rock is, is there was a guy that actually blew out the inside of it, the interior of this giant rock here, and made his house inside. So it's a famous place where this guy used to live, and, uh, and then they turned it into a fucking museum. So that's basically what the hole in the wall is. We're gonna go in here and ask them if they know where Highway 46 is so we can get up there and do some uh, mountain biking on the single track up in the LaSalle Mountains. Look how beautiful this is. Beautiful canyons, beautiful everything. Here's a nice little parking place. And while we're here, let's go ahead and walk around and check out some of the uh, goodies here. Here's some extreme metal artwork. I wanna show you this. I'm gonna get out of the car and show you that. But let me run in there and ask this guy where uh, Highway 46 is and I'll be right back. Okay, we just found out we did not pass Highway 46. It's about 10 to 12 miles the way we were going, so we're gonna go up there. But before we go up there, um, let's look at some of this uh, unique metal art. And I've seen this dozens of times before, but this is pretty awesome right here. Uh, when you talk about extreme Jeep riding, we're talking extreme. That's what you call extreme right there. Uh, I don't know how much hardcore you can get as far as being a uh, mountain riding four by four in the dirt, in the mud, hardcore fucking guy. That's what I'm talking about. I talk about that right there. Hell yeah, I'm talking about that. Uh, here's another piece of metal art that the po uh, possibly the same guy made. Let's go ahead and check it out while we're here. As you can see, this is a pretty unique place to visit. Uh, here's a situation right here. And this is the authentic 100% bonafide Elvis Presley style jailhouse rock. You never know what kind of crazy shit you're gonna find out here in uh, the Badlands of Moab, Utah. So that's just a few little angles of what's going on up here at the uh, hole in the wall right here, hole in the rock. And uh, I think it's time to get back on the road. If you want to come up here and visit, stay on 191 until you see the giant rock that says hole in the rock. And you're there. Let's get back on the road to Highway 46. All right, I thought it'd be pretty cool to stop right here and just check out these old buildings. I mean, yeah, you know, it's a it's an awesome situation to uh, drive down the highways and byways of America and see history that's been passed uh, way back from when. Um, these buildings are probably way back from the 40s, possibly 50s. It looks like it's an old gas station building that has been abandoned. But wouldn't this be an awesome situation to actually come in here and completely restore these buildings back to original? Looks like this was the gas station right here. And then of course that was our work area that uh, uh, where the mechanics would be. Let's go in there and check it out. Let's just kind of gander inside and see what's inside the old building. Kind of spooky coming in here, but you know, yeah. See, this would be the old mechanic shop where they would, and there's the old pumps right there. Just sitting there, look at that. 
pretty awesome. So it kind of brings back some memorabilia looking at these old places. There's the old lift right there in the ground, probably hydraulic fluid, uh, hydraulic bath. You put your car up in there if you were on the road and stuck, they'd fix your car for you and you'd be back on the road. And then this cool little building right here, I mean, the entryway to this is just awesome. Um, this brings back memories just looking at it from when I was a little kid. This would be the gas station itself right here. And you'd walk into the door right here, and then there's the counter right there. And look what we got there, an old candy machine. It's not as old as I thought it would be, but you got your little restroom in the corner over here, and then that would be your back stock room for all your uh, stuff that you would sell on the shelves, like your maps and cigarettes and candy and possibly soda pops. There's the old heater in the background. There's a sink right there, possibly if you'd want to wash your hands or freshen up. So it's a pretty cool operation just looking in this place. And then kind of picture this building right here. This is where the owner would live. This would be his house, um, the owner of the gas station, because way back then, this would be way out in the middle of nowhere. So he would actually live right here, and this would be his living quarters. The owner of the gas station would live right next door to the gas station itself. Um, or possibly this could have been a little restaurant, a little truck stop restaurant that was uh, here at one time. And this is where the truckers would stop to take a break, take a breather from riding them old dusty trucks, them old 18 wheelers that didn't have no air conditioning in them, didn't have no real good suspension. And the coffee shop, memories gone by. So when you're driving down the highways and byways and you see these old buildings like this, think of all the history that it's got behind them as you drive by them and don't neglect them. And uh, bring back some memories possibly of your childhood if you're old enough to remember gas stations like this. This would probably be the parking lot right here, the 18-wheeler parking lot where we're sitting in. And this would be full of old 18-wheeler trucks. And it would be a very, very vigorous and lively place at one time, way back when, in the days of reality of saying, wow, that's when America was really America and uh, times were good. So let's get back on the road and uh, we actually found Highway 46. It wasn't really that hard to find, but uh, now we're gonna go ahead and go up 46, 14 miles and turn left on FS201. It's a gravel forest service road. So we gotta look for a sign and I'm gonna actually make my marker here cause I wanna go exactly 14 miles. Um, we gotta go up 14 miles to the FS-211 gravel road, and then we're gonna follow that 1.5 miles and then turn left on FS-073. <sighs> Hopefully you'll be able to find this place because I don't know if you can see in my back rear view mirror there, um, we're ready to go bike riding. Okay, did I uh, mention not to trust the fucking book um, because the book doesn't tell you exactly where the fuck you're going? Because I have actually went 16 miles from our marker point and uh, I don't see no fucking road that says FS208. There's a sign that says San Juan County 125 lower two mile. So I don't even know if this is the fucking right route or there's another road up the fucking highway up there that was at about an 11 mile marker and it said the upper two miles, so I don't fucking know, but uh, we're gonna go down this road, the, the mileage that it says, and see if we end up where we're supposed to end up, because um, the situation we have is that you're actually relying on this right here, so we've actually followed everything to the T. Um, we went our 22 miles, we found Highway 46, turn left, and then it says uh, follow 46 for 14 miles and turn left on FS208, Gravel Forest Service Road. But uh, this isn't saying Gravis Forest Service Road, this says lower two mile. $16.95 for a book that's supposed to be the Mountain Guide, Bike Mountain Bike Guidebook of Moab, 
should really fucking, uh, you know, work on their directions. Because as far as I'm concerned, every trail that I found in this book so far has not, and I repeat again, has not been accurately described as they say in this book right here. We're going to go down here uh, a half, one and a half miles. I'm going to go ahead and mark it on my mileage here. That would be, uh, let's see, it's at 63 now, so it'll be in the 63 let's say uh, 64, uh, between 64, 65, 66, somewhere in that area, and hopefully we're gonna find the road. went approximately two and a half miles up the road there and I have not seen one road that said 073 now I did find a road that said 201 and I went around the corner up there you saw that and I also uh, found this sign right here that says 072 so I don't know if they mean 072 or 073 here because I have followed the directions pretty much accurately right to the mile marker of what they're talking about and we're coming into a fucking road here that is looking kind of rough and uh, sandy. So should we go up this road or should we not? So I'm guessing that uh, we might have wasted our time because this book doesn't say shit about 072. All it says is 073. I guess we're gonna go back down the fucking road, go to the fucking highway, Go up the highway and see if we can find 208. I don't understand. I really fucking don't. Understand. All right, after searching and seizuring uh, the situation, we have actually found 073. And if you look right there, that says 073. So we are in the right direction, and I believe we're gonna be going up into those mountains right there, hopefully, if we're heading in the right direction. So for anybody coming up here, beware that it is a very hard place to find, and it might take a little traveling, but uh, it looks like we're going into the Manti La Salle National Forest and uh, it looks like they actually have avalanche information here that when you're here in the winter time um, it's got a lot of situations of avalanches uh, here's a map right here showing us situations now here's 420 is that 25 okay uh, let's see if we can find out where we're at uh, we are on 073 okay 073 uh, we need 4726 I saw that no that's not it I don't see it anywhere on here all I see is where's 47326 um, I'm gonna go ahead and study this little map right here just for a few minutes and uh, hopefully we're gonna go ahead and be able to look the map over and I don't know where 073 is uh, okay that's 0073 hold on here's 073 I wish we knew where the fuck we were here's zero okay okay they could at least tell you where you're at on the map uh, to let you know where you're at
Okay, it looks like this is our road. That's not 4726, that's 4729. What the fuck? Okay, I went approximately eight miles up the road. No, I'm sorry, five miles. And I came to a road that said 4727. So then I come up the road here and it says 4729. So what I gotta do is figure out where the hell 4726 is. Uh, there's another road up there. Let's go up there and see if that's it. I've been following and I'm on set this is 73 that okay. we're on and then it says go up there five miles and then park a half a mile after you pass 4726 but I didn't see no 4726 I saw 4727 and then this is 4729 and see there's no other trails down see, there there's the map right here park right this there. is the road at the cattle guard 40 remember because it dead ends down here here's Beaver Lake it passes Beaver Lake no, he starts right here. Yeah, where's the top of the Sound Mountain? Where's Mount Pass. Okay, okay. If, you, if you start at the pass, you can take all this all the way down. And it's, so okay. the well, parking is all the way at the top. Right. Are you wanting to go up or down the trail? Well, I'm gonna go up and back. It's just like a single track back, yeah. you know, up, in and out. So we or actually, what I was gonna do is probably go up and then take the Jeep road back down. Yeah. Yeah. Which would be the 73. There's Beaver Lake. Oh, okay. So there's 4725 here. Lake. That's the road with the Boy Scout camp. And yeah, there's actually right there. a bike trail called the Boy Scout Trail. Let me go read that sign and I'll come back because this does, after you get up, it does T. Yeah, I took my dirt bike you, up. That's it. I took my dirt bike it and it'll take yeah, you clear down. It says right here, just park on the side of the road on the right. Yeah, this is the trail I want to go on. This, I guarantee this is it right here. You go down uh -huh. and it should T. Now see, this is a single track. This ain't a road. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, this is, is a like, single track. Yeah, this is single track. Yeah, they're all. They're yeah, like, I, I've taken my dirt bike up this. When I got it's like a up to here, but they it, really it wise off. All right, man. Appreciate it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. We'll see y'all later. Huh? There was number two. Okay. Though. Okay, so there you go. Uh, I guess this is the road. We're gonna park right here on the side. It's uh, actually 4729. Uh, you know, it would have been nice if they would have put that on the fucking magazine or the book or whatever they're calling this thing for $26, uh, $16.76. Uh, all right, here we are. We're gonna take the trail up. And if we get lost, we can always come back down the trail. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be a steep climb. I'm hoping I can get to the top at least over to, uh, what highway was that, or road, at least I can get to 47, if I can get to 4725, we should have an easy ride back down uh, to get back to the truck on the fire road, because we definitely don't want to ride the fire road, you saw how extreme those are. Let's get all packed up, let's get down the road and see where we end up. <laughs> Adios, amigos.